decade started with a bang as Willie Carr set up Ernie Hunt for arguably the best goal ever scored at Highfield Road, the infamous donkey kick. <laughs> Couldn't believe what he'd done, you know. No one's done it really, I don't think anyone's done it since. We couldn't believe what we'd seen and it was only really afterwards that we realised that this was a, uh, an epic uh, moment in the life of football at Coventry. Absolutely, ama absolute amazement. I mean, he was a cheeky player, he was always a cheeky bloke. If he, if he was on if talking on television, on the radio, you could see the humour coming through, you know. And for him to do a cheeky thing like flicking the ball up like that and, and for it to be whipped into the net was, was absolutely... We, we, we couldn't believe it, you know. It's one of those things that you, you sort of rerun in your mind over and over again. And I, I dare say, if he did it another hundred times, it wouldn't have gone in again. I was behind the goal when that was scored. Um, when they actually took the kick, we wondered what they were doing because Willie Carr stood over the ball with his feet either side of the ball. And you think, what's he doing? And he flicked it up and when it went in, amazing, absolutely amazing. And I think the really, really sort of uh, amazing thing to me is that they, afterwards, they said that they took it in train and didn't score one. And it just, boom, straight over the top, straight in the, in the, in the far corner, and, and the place just erupted. You know, it's all these one-off things, and it, it just it just worked, and it was absolutely ma magical. Who was it? Hunt! Oh, what a goal! Somebody else's boots on, I think, at the time, because he couldn't eventually flick it up. Somebody else's legs. Just somebody else's legs as well. It goes in the goal. He actually scored it as well. Yeah. We both fainted after it. <laughs>